impact on an audience of simpletons. It is not important what you say, but what is important is how you say it. I have worked for more than 30 years as a high school physics teacher in two underdeveloped third world countries where the education system is just a broken and failing structure. One day, I was tasked with managing an examination committee, and as usual, the students tried to talk to each other and create chaos in the paradise for the purpose of cheating. It was only for me to say in a sharp and clear tone of voice and body language indicating strength and decisiveness that, if everyone does not stop the chaos, I will leave you and leave the classroom. Here, silence and calmness associated with a state of fear prevailed, and the examination committee proceeded calmly. Now, if you had investigated the meaning of what I said rationally, it should have encouraged more chaos, because I would have given the students more opportunity to cheat, of course, when I left the classroom. But the way I said this phrase of miserable meaning made the students feel the opposite of what they should have had if they had examined the meaning of the phrase rationally. They had the feeling that I was determined to impose order with a force that they had no precedence over. The number of students in this class on that day was 46 students, and therefore they represent a random sample from the local community. Thus, I empirically verified the validity of a paragraph I read in the book Psychology of the Crowds by Gustav Le Bon, which says, The masses are always ready to rebel against the weak authority, for they only bow their heads meekly to the strong authority. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you very much.